Virtual reality is uh, where you're replacing your senses. So your sense of sight, your sense of hearing, your sense of uh, physicality with a virtual version. I like to think of virtual reality as a magic trick. You're trying to fool all of your senses into believing this other world is real. Humans are inherently spatial creatures. So we understand the world in terms of uh, how we move around it and how things actually feel. Being able to bring this into a 3D world, put on the headset and see this building or this installation or this object, this tangible object that I've just imagined, I can show it to someone and go, this is what it is and they understand straight away. I think that immersive element has real potential uh, for creating uh, empathy in different situations, uh, allowing you to experience something in the shoes of another person. Anything with those kinds of applications I think is, is huge. VR is going to change everything. I mean, it's, it, it may not be immediate, but it's definitely not going away because it's just too useful. It gives us a tool we've never had before. So it's a very exciting project and the students have been given this idea that they have to design something that has some use, that basically can be used to help people. It's like the beginning of cinema, you know, 120 years ago when people were inventing the idea of the edit, or the long shot, or the close-up, all this film grammar we just take for granted now. And we're at that stage in VR where people are essentially inventing the grammar for the industry and the way of communicating to come. Every student in this class has had some kind of new idea that I've never seen before, that I've, I've researched and looked up and doesn't exist because it's so new. So UDS is building a relationship with Finch, you know, a preeminent post-production company and content creator. I mean, the Finch opportunity is, you know, that's, this is the sort of stuff that adds so much to any course. You just, there's no substitute for industry contact because it's, it's immediately current. Having a combination of uh, people from uh, industry teaching the subject and then a UCS representative and then uh, myself overseeing the, the project has created a really nice diversity uh, of, of expertise and, and authority within the one classroom space. I think typical learning environments you get like a, a, a student body and then a teacher and it can create this uh, us and them uh, kind of environment which really isn't conducive to, to proper learning. In this instance we've got the, the, the students and then we've got Simon the studio leader and then we've got the technical experts from Finch and everyone's kind of uh, melded in together in a, in a de hierarchized learning space. Mm -hmm.